Hey guys, how you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain, uh, the inventor of the Fusion Silver and Fusion Black Crystal Vision Projection Screens. Uh, the a lot of screens, guys, a lot of screens. Uh, the Platinum 4K Cinema, which is selling like crazy, man. That screen is doing it's an, it's an incredible screen. It is an incredible screen. It is selling like crazy. And um, also, too, um, we have a screen coming out in the future, which we call the Future Tech 4K. Now, this is the an AG, uh, sorry, 47 AG uh, screen. This is the tech screen we have right here. It's still in development, but the screen can produce a white level that is brighter than white. Now, you guys are probably thinking, like, okay, um, yeah, that's impossible. The white wall over here is white. Your screen is silver. That is impossible, but no, it is not impossible. The screen literally can produce a white level that is brighter than white. Now, we're over here, because you know me, guys, I like to use my different forms of sample sheets. Let me put my camera down here for a minute. Let me make sure I have enough tape for this on here. All right, so. We have the, sorry about how dirty it is, but we have the Studio Tech 130. This right here is more superior than, if some people test their screens on 1.1 white projection screens, they test them on 0.1, whatever it may be. I like to use the Studio Tech 130 because this is a superior white sample sheet. It is, it just is a better white sample sheet than what you're going to find when you come to these cheap screens on the market, people test their screens under. So, we're going to take the Studio Tech 130, put my camera down here for a minute. We're gonna put it right against our screen, right here. All right, there we go. My screen's a little beat up because this is like a test. It's a test surface. Now here we are. We have the Studio Tech 130. Clearly, you can see that the Studio Tech 130 is wider than our screen. The wall is wider than our screen. Correct. Now watch this. Now mind the screen literally produces so much light, but has zero percent hot spotting produce so much light that anything that leans against it turns dark and there you go now sorry about the lines there's a lot of light kicking off in this room I got windows open I got the light over top this is just to show you look at this look at the color of the studio tech 130 look at the color of the screen look at the color of the wall now, there's the wall right there studio tech 130, you can see right from there the screen is brighter in the Studio Tech 130. Look at the white wall compared to the screen. Like I said, sorry about the red bars. There's a lot of light coming back at my camera. And as you can see, hot spotting is like this flicker of light. That's what it looks like. And you can see as I move the camera back and forth, there's no hot spotting. But look at this. Look how white the screen is compared to the white wall. And look at the Studio Tech 130. Turn it brown. All right, so watch this. Don't get me wrong, Studio Tech 130 is an amazing screen, that's why I chose it. But look at it compared to the screen. The screen can produce a white level that is brighter than white. You try to figure that one out. That's a bit of a mind bender right there. All right, so we're gonna remove this all together. Now mind you, that's the Studio Tech 130. Any screen that's gonna be darker than white will not be able to beat this screen. That's the Supernova, DMP Supernova. We're gonna do this on white levels, okay? All right, so we'll take the DM. Now, the DMV may be perfect in contrast levels. Yeah, these are contrast level screens, you know, but these screens are designed for, you know, this is a whole new form of technology. I'm going to remove this. There we go. There's the DMP Supernova versus our versus the uh, new Future Tech screen. Look at this. Look at the white levels. And still can maintain, look at it, still can maintain contrast. All right. So these are the kind of demonstrations people, some people will shy away from. They shy away from them because they know the screen is not the performance that they say it is. All right, so we did that right there. All right, what else do we have over here? We can grab. I'm not going to use the Dark Star Nine. There's no point. It's a dark screen. All right, we'll come over here and watch this. I'm going to show you against the wall. This is a white wall, snow scene. Look how well it looks on this screen right here. Look at this. Look at the whites compared to the wall. Now I got some people who do contrast levels. They'll do contrast levels and they'll do uh, um, um, a, a white black screen against a white screen, which I do from time to time, you know, showing the contrast of the screen. When have you ever heard someone showing off the white levels on the screen, showing exactly how amazing, how white the white levels are on the screen. So look at this compared to the wall. These are insane. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. This is the Future Tech 4K screens. Uh, this is the uh, 47AG. Um, we're still testing this screen out, but as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible, and it does the impossible. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for watching. Oh, I will have some more demonstrations on the blackout cloth. We have new blackout cloth that came out uh, for the um, for guys that know. We have new blackout cloth that came out for the pat. I'm uh, sorry, platinum uh, 4K cinema screens. Um, we do have that just to let you know available in the 150 inch, 120 inch, 100 inch, and we have a 100 inch 239.1. Now these are available on the website. We also have these in fixed frame screens from 150 inch, well, actually 150 inches are sold out, um, all the way up to a uh, let's see, 100 inch, I'm sorry, 150 inch, 120 inch, 100 inch, uh, 92, 84, and we have a 50 inch tabletop. Uh, projection screen which is pretty cool uh, coated with the uh, amazing platinum 4k cinema all right guys um, as for the fusions sorry the blackout fault is only available we are sold out all fusion motorized projection screens and fixed frame screens all right you guys 